A constant stream of traffic heading to and from the high country this time of year. Ski season, of course, is in full swing. And while there's no shortage of snow this year, there is a shortage of Uber drivers in the mountains, which is making it difficult for some visitors to get around. Denver 7 reporter Jason Grenauer found out what's being done to fix that. Kathy Eberhardt has given over 2,000 Uber rides in her career. Only a handful have been in the mountains. I'm all for going to the mountains, but I don't want to drive up to the mountains without a rider and then just sit and hope I'll get lucky, you know? And that's a problem. As of just a few months ago, there were less than 20 Uber drivers working in the mountains, leaving longer wait times and in some cases, no available cars. But demand is there. Like there's shuttles and things like that that can get people around up there, you know, or, or some walking things. But this is just really makes it more convenient for people so that they can get around on their own time. So the company started recruiting aggressively across Summit County, and they've more than quadrupled their force of drivers since to take skiers, tourists, and more where they need to go. They're used to using Uber, so they're looking for uh, a way to get around up in the mountains between Breckenridge and Keystone and Silverthorne, Dillon. I mean, it, it's getting big. This driver recruitment is mainly aimed at people who live in the mountains to drive around in between ski resorts and towns. But what about getting people to and from the mountains? I go up three, four times a week if I can uh, because I teach skiing up there. So if there was a way for me to take people up to the mountains, obviously I've got the vehicle for it. It would be great. Uber says they're working on something behind the scenes long term to help solve that problem, but nothing concrete yet. Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. Uber is holding another job fair tomorrow in Frisco. Keep in mind, if you drive for or request a ride in the mountains, the base fare is double the one here in Denver.